Hello everyone, welcome to Chillopedia, this is Maxim. I got this very nice cello for one of my students and uh, I'm trying to tune it. And I'm so excited because uh, that going to sound really nice. I'm starting turning oh, pegs, but I can barely move some of them. And of course you hear this squeaky sound. So that's not right. Even if you're strong enough to move a pack, well, it will not be possible to tune it well. And if you keep doing it, the pack box and packs will eventually get damaged and it will cost quite a lot to fix it. This video will give you an idea how to fix not only cello, but a violin or viola. It will work exactly the same way for all of those instruments. There is a perfect solution to get rid of this problem. You need to get a pack lubricant like this I have now. And by the way, I'll put a link in the description so you can order it right away and hear how that works. First, let's carefully remove a pack. If it stuck in the pack box, you could use the soft cloth to make it easier for your hand and make sure that you remove one pack at a time. There is always a little chance that a bridge will fall down and the tailpiece might scratch the varnish of your instrument. I would strongly suggest to put a cloth under the tailpiece. Just make sure it stays there and you can remove it after you're done fixing your packs. Now I'm going to remove a pack. Remember, you do it one pack at a time and I'm turning the A string pack, the top pack, counterclockwise. This is not very nice sound, but it takes some effort to turn the pack and string gets loose and finally you are able to remove a pack. You might need to turn your instrument this way to pull a string out of pack box, gently turning the pack. And here you go, you got a pack out. Now, fun part, we are opening this box with the lubricant. And it's really nicely wrapped. After we unwrap it, we can use it. And you have to gently wrap it against the pack. You can see this part of the pack which is in a contact with the pack box. All of that has to be lubricated. It's actually not very moist, so it works like a chalk. And you rub it against the surface of the pack And after you see the whole surface is uh, covered with a thin layer, then it's ready to go. Now, before you try to put the pack back in a pack box, make sure that you lubricate two points which string is touching. First point is that little groove on the bridge. You need to use very soft pencil and you sharpen it and you just kind of make a mark right inside that groove. So some graphite will stay there. 
just a little bit. And you need to lubricate another groove right here, right on the nut where A string goes. And you do it the same way. You just uh, draw a line right in there, just a little bit, and that should work. Now your pack is ready to go in. Pay attention where that little hole is. The, uh, this is where you will have to insert the end of the string. But first, let's put it in. Don't push it all the way. So you need this little hole in the pack be right inside the pack box, like this. And then you will try very carefully to insert the end of the string. Okay, it went all the way in. Now you hold the string like this, you pull it a little bit to make sure that's fairly tight and you start turning the pack, making sure that string goes around the pack but it goes not under, not this way, but above a pack. So you t for A string you turn it clockwise and you gently turn it trying for the string not to overlap and you start pushing it in the pack box. After a few turns that should be enough to hold it and you need to take care of another end of the string. Now you make sure that you align the string with the groove on the nut, like here, the groove we already lub lubricated, and you keep a string fairly tight and align it with that groove on the bridge. Now that's very delicate moment. You see that a uh, strain is still a bit too long to put it into fine tuner. So you keep the pressure so strain is still tight. And with another hand you tighten the pack. Now a pack is turning very smoothly. And you tighten it a bit so strain is shorter. And here it's ready to go here. So you insert it here in a fine tuner. You still keep the pressure and you keep turning the pack. Now trying to align with the groove. The string a bit stubborn. It got off the fine tuner. But since I'm keeping the pressure, that's not a problem. I can put it right back in there, keep turning the pack, and here you go. Now it's quite nice and tight. Then I can change cello position and start tuning. When I tune, I make sure I plug the string so I can hear how close it's to the final pitch and gently gently turning the pack. It's so much easier now because it's well lubricated and goes quite smooth. So I'm leaving it a little bit lower and I will do the rest with the fine tuner. Now it sounds about right. Of course you can use tuner to make sure that your instrument tuned perfectly well. And you do it three more times with all other packs. And after it's done, 
your instrument will work really well so you will spend just a minute or two to tune it even if you need to use pegs <laughs>